Welcome to part 14 and now we'll look at death and respawning. Uh, so currently nothing happens when the player's health falls to zero and you continue to shoot at them you just get a message uh, that's saying dead on the server only. So we need to make the player respawn so we have to edit the health script for that. Now what I need to do is to make the player move to position 000 world coordinates and give them back their health whenever they die. Uh, and in order to do this, so what will, what the method uh, that is used to do that is to tell from the server to the client to run a special function to tell it that it needs to move to that uh, location 000 and the server will look after uh, reinstating the health of the player. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to add a new method. It has the attribute client rpc so void rpc respawn so you have to write it like that with the rpc if is local player then transform dot position is equal to vector three dot zero okay so the server will call this message so we need to do that so instead of current health is equal to zero in the take damage method it'll now be max health so the health gets reinstated and instead of the debug log it'll be rpc spawn so this method right here so only the server calls this it'll then get run on all of the clients only the local player client will see oh yeah i satisfy this condition and then it will run uh, this line of code which resets the position to zero and remember it has a network transform component on it so the position will be synchronized across the network automatically so let's see that in action okay as host i'm in jump in as a client move a bit okay now let's shoot at that other player and see whether they respawn in the correct location, which is 000. There we go, worked nicely. So they get respawned, and they're in the position 000. How about we do that the other way? Okay, there we go. And the host was respawned and set to the, well, the 00 position with full health. Now we couldn't just use the server to move the player to some different position only on the server because the client who is the local player has that network transform component and it would override whatever instruction the server did there. So that's why we used the server, had a, used a client RPC so that the message was sent to all the clients to run the respawn method and only the local player satisfied that condition and so it ran the instruction to reposition. Okay, so that's it. In the next video, we'll look at uh, some non-player objects.